guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to talk about how to stay protected from the sun on a budget so i'm going to show you a hack that works for me and hopefully it will work out for you too so hear me out what i have to say and then use your critical thinking and take into consideration everything that i've said to figure out if this would work out for you as well okay so you already know that i have been using la roche posay shaka fluid for about a year now and i'm really happy with it is it a year maybe it's a little bit less than a year but i'm really consistent with it and i really like it and i keep going back to it i do have a review on it go check it out right here it's a really good sunscreen I really love it and I mentioned in the recent one of my recent videos this one right here and this is a video what to apply for a sunscreen or a moisturizer it's a really good one you can watch that as well and I mentioned in that video the only thing that bothers me about this sunscreen is that I go through it really fast and for me it's not exactly cheap so that, that's the only thing that bothers me about this sunscreen okay so here's the hack that I was talking about so I recently started buying this La Roche Posay in visible spray that can be used on the face and on the body so it's the same range as the La Roche Posay Chaga fluid similar price point but it has a larger packaging 200 milliliters you get there so I bought it use it only on my face now before I continue with this let me just say that I understand that some people have specific skin concerns that they just need a separated face sunscreen to treat those concerns that they have so if you are oily or acne prone or if you have atopic dermatitis or if you have extremely sensitive skin then of course I totally understand that this hack might not work out for you and that you will maybe have to buy a separated face sunscreen to address those concerns but if you have none of those then this hack might work out for you and you should be able to use this face and body sunscreen on your face as well okay now of course these two sunscreens are not identical of course La Roche Posay is not crazy to give you the same sunscreen in a larger packaging for the same price point of course but let me compare them for you guys and then you will see whether or not you would enjoy the larger packaging as well okay so they both have spf 50 plus which means that they both have really high uvb protection they also have pa quadruple plus which means that they both have extremely high uva protection as well if you're not sure why uva protection is so important then go watch this video i explained the difference between uva and uvb rays there also they are both invisible on the skin they don't leave a white cast which you will see later when i show you how they perform on the skin and finally they have five matching UV filters. Now Shaka Fluid has a total of six UV filters and the Invisible Spray has a total of eight UV filters. So you do get more UV filters in the Invisible Spray. And as I said already, they have five matching UV filters. Okay, now let's go through the matching UV filters really quickly. Okay, so the first matching UV filter is Ethyl Hexyl Salicylate. This is a UVB filter, not that strong, and it's more so solubilizing other solid UV filters. Then we have have ethyl hexyl triazone this one gives the highest photostable absorption of all available uv filters today and it is used worldwide but unfortunately it's not available in us and in, in canada then we have tinosorb s now this one is great this is one of the best sunscreen agents today it's a broad spectrum sunscreen agent that covers uva and uvb rays and it's very photostable then we have the famous evobenzin this is the only globally available chemical sunscreen agent that provides proper UVA protection but the only con is that it's not very photostable and the last but certainly not the least matching UV filter that these two products have is the Mixoral XL now this is a L'Oreal group exclusive agent and of course only L'Oreal owned companies have it now La Roche is of course owned by L'Oreal and this one is very photostable and it gives you both UVA and UVB protection okay now the different UV filters in the spray are homosalate, octocrylin, and insulazole. Now, homosalate is a UVB filter, not that strong, and it's not that photostable either, but it can solubilize avobenzin, so it's probably why it's here. Then we have octocrylin. This one is both UVA and UVB filter, not that strong on its own, but it can stabilize other unstable filters like avobenzin, for example. Then we have insulazole. Now, this one is great. It gives a strong protection in the UVB range, and it's also also very photostable so it can protect avobenzin as well and the one additional filter in the shaka fluid is mix 
Sorrel SX. Now, of course, this is another L'Oreal Group exclusive sunscreen agent and it gives a great protection in the UVA range. So as you can see, based on the UV filters that they have, they are very similar and provide you with some serious UVA and UVB protection. And for the similar price, you are getting significantly more product when you buy the invisible spray because the invisible spray has 200 milliliters and shock fluid has only 50 milliliters. Okay, now those were the similarities. I talked about what is similar with these two sunscreens. Now, let me tell you what is different because of course they're not identical. Okay, so first thing, shock fluid does not have perfume. So if you're sensitive, this will be great for you if you're sensitive to perfume. Now, this one also says that it can be used on sensitive skin, but it does have a little bit of perfume. The perfume is listed last. I can't sense it to be honest but it's very mild and me I don't have sensitive skin so I can handle a little bit of perfume in the product but I have to mention it for you guys if you're sensitive be warned maybe this pack won't work out for you and you will still have to buy the, the smaller packaging meant for the face only Okay, next difference is that check of fluid can be used around the eye area, but this one it does not have anything stated on the packaging. So because of that, I don't even want to try it around the eye area because I have sensitive under eye skin. Now, I know that a lot of people online say that, you know, under eye creams are just a marketing scam. I can understand that as well, but my under eye skin is very sensitive and I tried using regular moisturizers there. It did not work out for me so I do have a separated under eye cream that I use religiously it's Sebamed Q10 I will put a picture right here I still don't have a review on it I hopefully I will do it someday and the link will be in the description box in case you want to check it out the shock of fluid I will continue using it on my under eye area and this one I will use on the face because I'm not sure if this will work out for my under eye area so that's another thing to keep in mind okay the next difference I already mentioned this one is 200 milliliters and this one has only 50 milliliters and the price is similar at least in my country now you have to check this out in your country I'm not sure here I pay 20 bucks for the shock of fluid and 24 bucks for this one so it's you know four bucks more and you get 200 milliliters again for me it's a no-brainer okay now this next difference is important and this might be a deal breaker for you shock of fluid is more matte absorbs quickly and it's kind of leaves a semi matte finish this one is more shiny and it does give me a really intense glow now because i do have dry skin i don't mind the, the shine that this one gives me actually i'm quite enjoying it and i think i would have loved it during winter now i mean it's still winter but it's uh kind of becoming warmer so i think i would have loved it during the coldest days of the winter because this one believe it or not was not enough not moisturizing enough on its own during those really cold days and i have to apply another moisturizer on top after using this one so that's the difference that that maybe you should uh, also so keep in mind and I will now insert a footage of me applying this one on one side of my face and this one on the other side of my face just so you can see the difference and also I will show you how they perform underneath makeup okay let's start with the shock of fluid so as you know already this one is really lightweight absorbs really quickly and if you ask me it gives you a subtle glow but it's not that shiny the spray is still very lightweight it's still invisible spreads out easily absorbs quickly but it gives you a more shiny finish than the shock of fluid now you will see a side-by-side -side comparison right about now so yeah as you can see shock of fluid gives me the glow but it's less intense than and the invisible spray you can obviously see that the invisible spray gives you a more shiny finish now for me this is not a problem because I do have dry skin and I think that anyone with dry nor or normal skin can handle this with just a little bit of face powder on top Okay, now moving on with the foundation part. My advice right away, if you're going to use these two sunscreens underneath makeup, my advice is to get a little bit more mattifying foundation. When I use the dewy foundation, and I usually use Bourjois Healthy Mix, that was too much because the base was already very glowy and then the foundation on its own is very glowy. So that was just sliding off of my face even when I was setting it with face powder. So here I used Revlon Color Stay for normal skin and a little bit of Bourjois 
bourgeois healthy mix and as you can see both sides are looking very decent because the mixture of these two foundations is a little bit more mattifying than the bourgeois healthy mix on its own now i do use some face powder to set the areas that i don't want to be looking too shiny and this also helps with you know longevity of the base so for me and for my dry skin this works out really well but again in the end this will depend on your skin type so as you can see these are similar but of course you have to take into consideration your skin type and your skincare concerns to figure out if this larger packaging would also work out for you let me know if this works out for you and if this hack makes sense for you too so yeah thank you so much for watching hopefully you learned something new today i will see you in my next video bye